Welcome to Scribe School. Today we're looking at the letter bet. Shalom, welcome to Rob on the Rock. This is Scribe School, and we're going to look at the letter bet today. It's the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Um, in our first video, we looked at the letter Aleph. So if you remember, Aleph has three strokes, something like that. You probably want to connect it. Uh, and so be sure if you haven't already, go back and watch that video and learn to write our basic block uh, script version of the Aleph. Today we're going to look at the letter Bet. If I write it in big, it's just going to be two basic strokes. One curved stroke starting from the upper left down to the base and then a horizontal line as the base. So it's kind of similar to a to a hangman. Uh, some people will do it more square like that. And I think depending on if I'm in a super sloppy mood, I might do the same thing, something like that. So you want to practice a bunch of the bets like that. And take your time. Notice some of mine are sloppy. Some are a little more consistent, and that's okay. It's, it's good just to practice this and to, to slow down and, and write. And give yourself some space in between all the letters. And right now, all we're wanting to do is build the skill. And the skill has a few different uh, facets to it. One is just the letter recognition. So just recognizing the letter bet when you see it. Another facet is being able to write it from memory on demand. So you can get a notebook and practice this and write it like a hundred times and know it really, really well, which is what I encourage you to do. You can write it in different colors, different sizes. I'm using this lined paper. You can also go, I have, you know, kind of a, a blank sheet with a, if you've got a big marker, you know, you can practice, you know, like this. Here's our olive. Here's our bet. Oops, let's move that down so you can see it. Olive, bet, olive. That's our word, Abba, means father, Abba. So just with the first two letters, olive and bet, you can spell the word Abba. Now, Paul writes that in, uh, in Greek letters, uh, alpha, beta, beta, alpha, Abba. But it is an Aramaic word, Aleph, Bet, Aleph. That's how that's spelled. Aleph, Bet, Aleph. You want to practice that again. Abba. Oops. Aleph, Bet, Aleph. And you see, I need practice too. Aleph, Bet, Aleph. And as you remember, with Hebrew, we start on the right hand side and go to the left. So that might be a new orientation for you. Practice our olives. Practice our bets. Now sometimes with that lower baseline, I'll start on the right and pull to the left, but you can also start on the left and pull to the right. And this is a bet. Now, whereas with our Aleph, we followed pretty closely to what we saw in uh, what we call the Great Isaiah Scroll. Uh, and that Great Isaiah Scroll was found among the Dead Sea Scrolls at Qumran, but it wasn't produced there. Uh, the dating of the production of the Great Isaiah Scroll is older than the Qumran community. So we know that this Isaiah Scroll was written somewhere else 
and then transported. It was already decades old when it was transported uh, to the site at Qumran. But let's just look at, this is again Isaiah, and here's from, I think it's Isaiah, it's right at the beginning here. It says, Ki Adonai Diber, for the Lord has spoken. And we're looking at this word here, that's as big as I can make it. It's Dalit, and then it's a bait, Resh. Banim Gadalti, I have raised sons, Banim. So we see, this is the word uh, Banim, Bet, Nun, Yod, Mem. Don't worry about those other letters. If you don't know them yet, we'll learn them later. But look at the Bet here. And we see also another uh, verse later, he uses the word um, banim, bet, nun, yod, mem. Again, so if I hold it just right, you know, I'll circle it here. Banim, sons, and again down here, banim. These are from Isaiah chapter 1, just the first uh, couple verses. Banim. Now, what we're noticing, there's other, uh, evus, you see the bet right here. And Ba'alav, we see it here. So we see numerous uh, letters, uh, a letter bet here. But notice how this scribe makes the bet. He makes it not uh, like I've been doing it, but he makes it kind of like this. Like a kind of a, a letter Y, I guess we'd think of in English. And then with a, ba uh, a base. See how he does that? Like right here. It's like a, what I would think of as a letter Y in English uh, with that big, with the base. But that's not the way I'm recommending learning the block script. In this case, uh, with the letter bet, I'm uh, going to encourage you to learn the approach that we see more like here in the back to that um, Washington Pentateuch. Here we see from, this is a passage from Genesis 11, where it says, The Lord came down to see the city, uh, to see and, and to see the tower, which, that is the Tower of Babel, of course, Banu Bene Ha'adam. So here we have Banu Bene Ha'adam, uh, the sons of men, the Bene Ha'adam, Banu, they built Banu. So notice the letter bet here. That's what we're looking at. It's just a simple, uh, now, of course, this scribe has a nice uh, cursive uh, hand here. His calligraphy is very beautiful, and he uses these little flourishes here at the top of the letter bet, um, and then gives the nice base. So we're not looking to recreate the entire uh, calligra uh, calligraphic form, but what we do have is just his basic form like that from the upper left going to the right curving down and then a base that's our letter bet so what I'll do here I want to just um, I'll zoom out one bit here and I'm just gonna slowly scroll from this from the top of the column here you don't have to read the Hebrew uh, but just as I scroll down, look and see if you can identify Aleph's and Bet's. I'll go slow here. We're looking for Aleph's and Bet's. remember we're looking for both recognition from memory of the form but also we want the skill of being able to write it so that there's motor skills involved okay there we go so we did the whole column so let's go to the top and let's see uh, uh, how you did here so we see right here at the top the oven so we see an olive and a bet right next to each other. Um, let's see here, Vayomru, so we see an olive here. Nivne, so there's a bet here. 
without a dagesh. We'll talk about those later. Oh, here's here's a bet too. Here, Hava. Um, Vashamayim. Rosh O Vashamayim. It's head in the heavens. So there's a bet here. And then the word Rosh. We see an Aleph. So maybe you're seeing some that I've missed here. Haaretz, here's an Aleph. Lirot, so to see has a letter Aleph, et. The word et has an Aleph. The et, Amigdal, et has an Aleph. Asher has an Aleph. And then Banu, B'nei Ha'adam, we saw the, the bets there. And then the Aleph with Ha'adam. Vayomer Adonai, we see the Aleph for Vayomer, and he spoke. Echad, Aleph. Achat has an Aleph. There's a bet right here. Ibatzel has a bet. Kol uh, Asher, here we got an olive. Navla has a bet. Asher, lo. See, we see uh, Asher has an olive, lo. And then Ish. Ish has an olive. So we see a number of olives and bets in this column. And uh, this is just part of uh, our practice. So we're developing skill in the visual recognition of the letter, uh, particularly from scribes that lived a thousand years apart, or maybe even 11, 1200 years apart in the case of uh, the scribe who wrote the great Isaiah scroll and the scribe who wrote the Washington Pentateuch. And then we're coming another thousand years into our time and we're uh, learning to write these letters ourselves in a way that is understandable, that that's an olive. I'm not going to mistake that Aleph for any other letter. Same with the bet. I don't want to make it the letter uh, where it looks too similar to another letter. And bet is going to be one of those we need to be careful on because, um, for example, I'm just going to make a giant bet here. We want to make sure, I'm just going to give us a little pointers here. We want to make sure that we have that little foot, this little guy. That's important because that's going to differentiate our letter bet from uh, the letter cough that we'll learn down the line, which uh, is going to be very similar. It'll look uh, like this. And if we don't have, if we don't have that little uh, foot sticking out to the lower right, then we're going to mistake the letter for a letter cough. But we'll, we'll address that again when we get there. For now, you want to take time, five, 10 minutes a day is sufficient of concentrated attention, just writing and recognizing the letters that we learn. So, so far we've learned Aleph and Bet and that little laser beam focus of attention for just five to 10 minutes where you put away all distractions and you just focus on this and you build this skill, it, it will do wonders for your learning. I promise you, but you have to do it every day. You have to practice. You have to, like I say, you're, you're digging ditches in your brain. You're building new, uh, neural pathways and they need to be, um, you know, repeat it. That repetition is really going to strengthen them. Another uh, uh, analogy is that it's kind of like a tree that's growing in, in the way the Lord created our minds. So the more you water that tree, the more it grows and grows and grows and gets stronger. That's what we're going for here. So thanks again for joining this journey of Scribe School. I'm Rob Van Hoff, and uh, we'll see you next time for our next letter, which is the letter Gimel. Shalom. Thank <laughs> you.